Hi, I'm Roxanne Spruance and I'm the owner and executive chef of Kingsley and uh, today we're going to be talking about monkfish. Today we're going to make a dish that we have on the menu here at Kingsley um, and it's uh, our monkfish dish which has uh, the components of potato, leeks, uh, grapefruit and caviar. The first thing that I do is I take the tail off. There's a little joint that you can pop right through, take the tail off, pull it up by its uh, dorsal fin. It's very slimy, so I usually use a towel for most of this. I'm gonna pop right through all of the uh, fin bones. If you're at home, you're gonna go through, you're gonna clean all this up. Get any of these dark marks out which isn't the end of the world, but just make your fish look clean. And I would cook it in portions, you know, you can cut it however, however you want to with however many people you're feeding. Just be conscious of the fact that much like anything else that you would cook with, a flank steak that's thin is gonna cook differently than a roast. So your thicker parts are gonna cook a little bit uh, longer than your thinner parts. So we're going to start, even though the fish is brined, uh, we are going to season it. And then the key with any fish, with any meat, with anything that you cook at home is really getting your pan super hot. You see, I can, I'm dragging this in the pan and it's not sticking at all. That tells you that your pan's ready to go. And just like with any meat that we roast, uh, we're going to hit the pan with some whole butter, some thyme, and some garlic. And we're going to baste our fish. What this butter is going to do is it's already browning in the pan, and it's going to give not only great flavor of this uh, garlic and thyme that's in the butter, um, but it's going to give great color to our fish. So once you're searing this, this is actually only the first step in the cooking process. We are. Uh, gonna put this in the oven, much like a piece of meat. Key to telling when it's done is uh, if you have a cake tester, you're gonna stick the cake tester through, and as soon as you feel it not have any resistance, that's when you know that your fish is ready. So we're gonna put it in the oven. So we put the monkfish in the oven for about five or six minutes. We're gonna check it after four. So while the monkfish is roasting, we're gonna pick up the rest of the dish. So I've got here some melted leeks that we've done in advance. And I've got here some blanched fingerling potatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on the stove with a little bit of whole butter in it to start to warm it up. Being that this is a grapefruit dish, what we've done is uh, we've made a, a, a citrus burr blanc. So we've reduced uh, ruby red grapefruit juice down and mounted it with uh, butter. Um, we're going to finish this with some chives, some grapefruit segments, and some caviar. So I'm going to pull out the fish now. And just like meat, you're going to want to let this fish rest. So. The last thing that we have left to do with the monkfish is to slice it, so we're gonna start to plate. And you can just see how juicy this, this piece of fish is. It really is like a piece of meat. The longer you let it rest, the better. We're gonna top it with our uh, grapefruit caviar sauce. And uh, we top this dish with fried leeks. And there you have it, this is the monkfish at Kingsley.